another freshman at UCLA, is also in this race. And Mike Powell, who we saw run that third leg in the sprint relay, we saw him long jump. Mike Powell will be running for UCLA instead of Henry Thomas. So Mike Powell with a very busy afternoon on this wet day at UCLA. Indeed, we spoke in our pre-meet comments about these two talented freshmen, Thomas, who is not going to be in the 100, and, of course, Mahorn, who has been very evident for California. And we perhaps slighted some athletes the caliber of Powell, who is a brilliant track and field man and is almost a one-man gang in himself. Yeah, he was ranked 10th in the world last year in the long jump. He was ranked 5th in the United States, made the Grand Prix final in Rome. He's, he's a superior competitor. This is Dimitri Peterman. Powell, of course, did we mention, did win the long jump at 25-10 uh, and a quarter. And there's Peterman in the triple jump. They've uh, officially put that 400 now, Vic, at 45-49, a meet record, and the best of 400 runs so far this year in the world. Uh, Howard of Cal at 46-2, and uh, Washington of UCLA at 47 and um, three hundreds. And there was Mike Powell in the long jump. We're going to see him running the sprint, the 100 meters, in just a few moments. Mike Powell, a senior from West Covina, the winner in the long jump. Yes, that was 25, 10 and a quarter. And uh, he led a 1-2 Bruin finish in the long jump. Coming in second was um, Kevin Young of UCLA. This is Powell again. He was sixth in the 1984 final Olympic trials for the United States. Mike Powell said the other day he'd like to compete. Indeed, uh, weather notwithstanding, looks like another day for the Bruins, and the Bears are going to have to wait. Dwight Stones is down the infield. Triple jump is being contested. Who is this? Who is this? Tom, this, this meet has really very much changed the complexion from the beginning till now with this weather. UCLA has picked up places where they really didn't expect to at all. In the triple jump, the current leader is Ken Williams of Cal. But here we have... Williams of UCLA really stretched out in the step phase. I'm amazed he was able to complete that jump, actually. Michael Harris. Michael Harris. Michael Harris from Cal, not expected to be in the top three, very slow on the runway. Today is just one of those kind of days where you just don't really feel like putting out a lot of effort in a technical event. Even though the triple jump and long jump are contested in a straight line, you feel your feet sloshing down the runway. When you hit in those phases with a lot of your body weight going down on those feet, it's just something that you really just don't want to put your full effort into, especially when your team is in a position where it takes a major upset to get them into the meet. As you can see here, he just isn't completing the phases very well. In fact, uh, he almost didn't make it into the pit on that particular jump. This is the last of the field events, and I'm sure a lot of the athletes that are competing in the field are happy about that. We've had some unfortunate things with regards to the discus, uh, had a lot of towels in the ring. Uh, this weather is just really not conducive for track and field at all. Uh, as you said earlier, Tom, uh, this is more of a football day than it is a track day. And with these two great teams, it's really unfortunate that we are unable to contest this meet under conditions that would really bring out the best in the athletes from these two great teams. Dwight, let me ask you this. As a great athlete yourself, even concentrating on your specialty is difficult with weather like this, isn't it? There's no doubt about that. When you're trying to think of technical, mechanical things that you want to do and you've got rain hitting you in the face and you're uh, uh, approaching your attempt, as say, in the high jump or the pole vault and you can feel the water spraying out from underneath your feet. It's very difficult to maintain your concentration on what you have to do, which is the task at hand. And in many of these events, there's a lot of danger involved. Let's, let's face it, the guys are carrying a 16-foot piece of fiberglass, and they're going to plant it in a, in a box and bend it and go 17 feet in the air. It's uh, a little bit disconcerting when you feel things that are unnatural. In the high jump, you get a lot of turning in the, uh, the run-up, and I think the athletes in the high jump did a very fine job. So just concentrating on your event is a problem, and then always in the back of your mind, as you've alluded to, is the fact that we are young in the season early on, and there's a lot of things yet to be done by these athletes, and you don't want to come up uh, hurt and, and uh, end your career here on a rainy afternoon, do you? Exactly. It's almost unfortunate that these two teams have to meet this early in the season with the conditions this way, but uh, uh, that's the way the, the meet was set up, and so often in Southern California, we're very lucky, and especially in the spring, to not have this kind of weather take place, but these athletes are giving their all under the conditions, and uh, uh, there's been a lot of upsets. There's been a lot of turnarounds in today's meet, and uh, as the score stands right now, it looks as though it, it would take a major upset on the part of Cal in a number of events that yet to be contested for them to even get back into uh, a chance of winning this meet. Right you are. It's 74 and a half. Well, we're 47. still looking at competition in the triple jump. Mike Harris of California. The Bears are running first and third in this That's event. Track, and, of course, uh, they could use the six points mightily. They 
are trying to stave off still another victory by UCLA in the dual meet competition between these two schools. There's Harris. Dwight Stones is in the infield, and uh, let's check in with the famed Olympic star. Dwight. Well, Tom, as, as I was saying earlier, the, the athletes are to the point now where it's late in the afternoon. It's very cold down here. The wind, the wind is negligible, luckily, and the rain seems to be letting up to a certain extent. But uh, we're in the fifth and sixth rounds of the triple jump now. The athletes are aware that it would take a minor miracle for Cal to get back into this meet. They'd have to basically sweep the 5,000 and sweep the 200, basically, and uh, win the relay in order to even have a chance. And I don't think that that's going to happen. I think that that word has filtered through the ranks of the Cal athletes. And uh, they're just going through the motions now through the rest of this triple jump competition. Um, I think that I would rather see an athlete um, take it easy in this event at this point in time rather than try to go we for still something. We still have several big events coming up. You're watching some of the triple jump competition again, Dwight. A Cal looks like they could pick up six points in this event. Well, I expect that they will because, again, the UCLA athletes have decided that uh, their fate rests in the 200, the 5,000, and the relay. And I think that they score points in any one of those events they're going to uh, easily win this thing. Now it's just a matter of how close will this meet be. I know that uh, the mile relay is something that both schools have really looked forward to all week long, aside from the matchup between uh, the freshman Henry Thomas and Atlee Mahorn. But I know the 4x400, the 1600-meter relay, is, a, is an event that both these schools want to contest. And because of the fact that the climate is somewhat uh, better than it was 10 minutes ago, as you pointed out, I think we could still look forward to some very spirited competition in that particular relay event. Indeed. And coming up will be a spirited item, the 200 meters. And Atlee Mahorn will be going in that. And he'll be trying to be the third the first triple winner of the afternoon. We'll be back with more competition after this message. All right, you're looking at triple jump competition. Now, this uh, dual meet is a lot closer right now than um, we thought a few moments ago. We've still got the 5,000 meters to be contested. Cal has two runners in that event. They could conceivably pick up eight points. Here's Dwight Stones as we watch the triple jump competition. It's Chris Mooring from Cal. You know, things have changed a little bit here. Uh, Cal is now first and second in the triple jump, which means that UCLA, UCLA has dropped down two points from what I think they expected to get. I think they had thought they had a pretty good hold on second place here. Now that well, Dwight, do you know, if Cal could finish first and second here, and uh, I tell you, this meet could be decided by half a point or a point at the most. It sort of depends on what happens in the 5,000. Uh, UCLA fully expects to get second in the 5,000, which would make the whole point moot. But the fact that they dropped a couple of points here in the triple jump uh, that they were counting on with second place, I think that does change the complexion of the way the uh, coaches and athletes are now suddenly looking at the rest of this particular meet. I think the 5,000 looms as a very important race. And with uh, uh, Mark Yunkerman having run so well in the 1,500, it's hard to say how much energy he will have to come back in the 5,000, but I, I think they feel confident that UCLA will win the 4x400, but uh, I think they felt equally confident with the short relay. Now here comes Mike Powell, who has competed in the 100, the long jump, the relay, and the high jump, and he's trying to get some of those points back, and he just completely breaks down. When you do that many events on a day like this, or any day really, but a day like this especially, you are just asking for an injury, and uh, it's a tremendous tribute to his competitive instinct to continue like that, but uh, to have a breakdown like that was expected. This is Dmitry Peterman from Cal, and originally was born in the uh, Soviet Union, just became a citizen just recently. Boy, is he psyching himself up, Dwight? I mean, he's ready, isn't he, for something? He looks very ready now. <laughs> I, uh, I think that it's starting to, the, the word is starting to get around that uh, Cal has not laid down and played dead. This guy looks like a linebacker, not a triple jumper. This, that's an awful lot of weight coming down on those feet on this kind of a day. It really is. Yeah, he's a he's really a a very mature man. He's a he's from Odessa in the Soviet Union, but as you said, he third in the uh, Pac-10 in the triple jump, 85. Boy, he's a he's a big man. And he's got a lifetime best of 52-10 in this event. So the triple jump, the 5,000, and the 4 by 400 relay are coming right to the wire, and we've got the uh, stat people up here busy computing just what could happen in these events as far as settling this meet. And the rain continues to come down. There's more events are in the book. Up. Here's Ken Williams of California. I don't know what he's listening to, but... Uh, it may be a Willie Banks tape. It could very well be. At any rate, he... Uh, 
from the Bears at Berkeley and the triple jump. This uh, dual meet, much closer than we thought, say, oh, 30 or 40 minutes ago. It would take a miracle, and in fact, I don't know if Cal can win it. We'll have to check the field for the 5,000 to see. Here's Williams, though, of California, triple jump. Music's got him ready. And down the runway he goes. Very good jump. The official results, as you watch him again, showed that Williams would win the triple jump at 51-1 and would lead a 1-2 Cal finish in that event with uh, Dimitri Peterman of California taking second and Dwayne Washington of UCLA coming in third. And the rain continues to come down as you look again down the runway and Ken Williams jumping right into your living room. Kenny Williams was the Pac-10 champion last year, jumped 55 feet in 1985. He's been injured this year, but he's obviously back now. Well, 81 and a half to 67 and a half. There's the official results for the um, triple jump as Williams wins it. Peterman making it a 1-2 Cal sweep and Dwayne Washington.